Hello, sports fans and out of the park fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today, I'm here with my first real attempt at being a general manager and in Out of the Park 24 instead of Out of the Park 22. If you've been following my channel, watching my channel, you know that I have a, a White Sox playthrough that started in the year 1994 and is currently just about to start 1998 in Out of the Park 22. Um, in that season, though, I am just the manager. In this season, I am taking the Phillies of 2015. We're starting in 2015. I thought maybe that might be a good year to start. Um, and I am the general manager and manager, although I am going to show you what I have farmed out to um, to other other people. So you can see down here, um, these are all of the assigned jobs for the general managers, assistant managers, um, um, bench coaches, managers, yada, yada, yada. So um, for the right now, for the setting, setting the lineups, the pitching staff and the player strategies, I've got that set to be the bench coach. Now, um, I will change that in and out if I decide to actually play some games. But right now, my intent is just that I'm going to be the general manager and I'm going to kind of zip through the schedule and see how we do. Uh, but I do retain the right to um, active roster moves, transactions, initiating and reacting to trades. Then uh, for drafting players and setting budgets and signing international amateurs, I've got my assistant GM, the, I, the AI doing that. Um, then I would sign and fire team personnel, which I did with my trainer. I had a trainer that was, um, I think he was below average or fair or something, but there was somebody out there that was average. So I fired him and I offered a contract to an average trainer because I think you want to get the best, um, you want to get a good trainer so that you can keep your guys as healthy as possible. Um, so I, uh, I've reserved that for myself, sign and fire bench coaches and base coaches. Um, assigning instructor roles and um, really everything else um, down this list is going to be someone else. Uh, assigning instructor roles, sign and fire minor league personnel, minor league uh, free agent signings, minor league promotions and demotions, uh, league lineups, all of that stuff is going to be someone else, either a minor league manager or an assistant GM. So we have farmed out that kind of stuff. Um, I also have offered extensions. Now I can't, we didn't offer him an extension. So let's go to offer an extension. And he's looking for a one-year $990,000 extension. Let me, uh, I'm going to go, I'm going to say meet the demand. Submit the offer. And so now click here to view the pending offers. And so here are the pending offers that I have, uh, that I've made. Chase Utley, I've offered a one-year extension. Ryan Howard, I've offered a one-year extension. Grady Sizemore, I've offered a one-year extension. Um, ben Revere, I offered a four-year extension. I offered Cam I just offered Cameron Rupp a one-year extension. Offered Cole Hamels a six-year extension. And a one-year extension to Cesar Hernandez and a one-year to Mikhail Franco. So we will see now. Um, this is okay. 
So Major League Baseball transactions, free agents, pending offers. Got to remember where that is. So that's what we got for pending offers. Um, if we go to uh, front office, you can see I still have uh, $48 million for extensions and uh, $39 million total. I don't know. That doesn't make sense to me. But see, again, I, this is the first time I'm really trying to do my very best to be a general manager um, because... I want to get that. Uh, I want to. I want to kind of put that feather in my cap and learn how to do that. Um, I do like being a manager, though, as the White Sox manager in the um, out of the park twenty two season I'm in. So anyway, let's go. Uh, we're gonna zip through the schedule. We play wash. Well, we lost. We lost on opening day to Boston five to three. We have another game against Boston, and then we have Washington, and then we have New York, and then we have Washington. So let's go to this first off day and see where we are. And I also have it on Do Not Disturb, so it shouldn't bother me with um, it shouldn't bother me with you know stopping to um, interrupt the playthrough um, or you know interrupt the uh, quick play. So we'll see what happens when this is all said and done. Now, Washington was a pretty good team in 2015. And um, I think the Mets were too. Although the Mets have their problems in real life that they might not have here in Out of the Park. So let's see what happened here. Uh, we are two and two, three and two, four and uh, three and three. So it looks like that's where we're at. Um, four and four, four and five. No, we're still doing more games. Five and five, five and six, five and seven. And I think that's where it, probably where it stopped. So we'll finish today. And then we will go back to the, we'll go to the standings. And so, yeah, we're six and seven. So six and seven after 13 games. Um, we play the Marlins next, so let's go through the Marlins, St. Louis. Let's go to the next off day that we have, and that's right here. Um, we've got a uh, player of the week, all right? So let's see if we're doing any more here. No, we're 13 and 16. Three and a half out, but we're 13 and 16, which is not great. Um, and then finish today. And then, uh, yeah, 13 and 16, three and a half out. So, give us waiver claim. Bronson Arroyo was injured so let's see what happened there with bone chips in his elbow he'll be out for about five weeks so no no oh i'm probably gonna have to address that and that was probably one of the problems we've been having and that is an issue when you're like quick playing through games All right, let me take a look at the pitching staffs. Let's see if this was addressed. Um, yeah, it was Jerome Williams. They put Jerome Williams in, so um, let's see lineups and our rosters and transactions. We have 
25 out of 25 players. So, so they addressed it. Um, they've got Jerome Williams up. Now I could, I could replace Jerome Williams with somebody else until Arroyo comes back, but I'm not inclined to do that. We will, um, yeah. So we'll leave it at that. So let's see here. We've got the standings. There we are, 13 and 16. We have played the first 29. You know what? Let me play one more game just to make it be 30. Play the game at um, New York. Start the game. And we beat the Mets 8 nothing, so that's a good sign. Let's go back to the, uh, we'll leave the game. And first shutout, or shared shutout. And so that puts us at 14 and 16. We're 30 games into the season now, and... That's where we are. The Marlins are 10 and 20, so we're ahead of them. And we are only a game and a half behind the Mets. And we're only three and a half out. So 14 and 16 plus, you know, that's considering an injury to Arroyo. So I think that's, um, I think we're in pretty fair shape there. And so that is going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off. Till next time, be on the lookout for my 24 Philly season. And if you want, check out my 22 out of the park 22 White Sox season playthrough.